it is. They are translating the vehicle uh, to just under the uh, helicopter pad on the vessel. Looks like they're starting to wash it down, <laughs> get it clean, prepared for that hatch opening. Yeah, this is essentially an egress or a platform for the um, crew members to exit. Um, Dragon is quite large, and the side hatch is um, quite a bit a ways um, up. And so we don't. We want to make sure that uh, when we open the side hatch, they can just um, comfortably get out. What they have there is uh, a ladder as they prep for hatch opening. There's uh, a few things that they do have to do here for preparation before they open up that side hatch. Great comms. There you can see the side hatch is now officially open and some exciting <laughs> waves from the crew. Now they are putting on uh, some protection uh, along the hatch door uh, for while they egress the vehicle here. So we have members of the recovery team inside the, the capsule with the crew members. <laughs> um, they're doing some checkouts, uh, make sure everything is good before the crew can exit the capsule. But this is certainly very, very exciting. Uh, again, that hatch has been closed and sealed for three days. This is the first time it's opened since we lifted off Wednesday, uh, September 15th. And we have some fist pumps from Jared. I'm sure the entire crew is super excited. <laughs> can see them waving. <laughs> More, more exciting fist bumps. <laughs> oh, this is such a great are. shot. <laughs> How incredible. Some hearts. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> Again, that was the crew members of Inspiration 4. As excited as ever, uh, they are back on Earth on the recovery vessel, just waiting to uh, exit the Dragon spacecraft. <laughs> Some fist bumps going around. <laughs> Again, as the crew does begin their egress, they will have a team that does uh, help them uh, as they egress or exit the vehicle. Um, as they have been out in microgravity for the last three days, uh, they have not felt the gravity of their own body in three days. Um, so this is very standard procedure uh, to have some support and help as they egress the vehicle. Right now, it looks like they are removing the footrests at the bottom of their seats. This will give them some space as they exit. Yeah, that is a good thing to note that um, uh, when we land, we also uh, recline the seats back down to make it a little bit easier for the astronauts uh, and crew members to exit the vehicle. the vehicle the first of the inspiration for crew and so very excited lots of waves thumbs Some up, thumbs up. <laughs> getting a little photo up <laughs> and it looks like up next is dr cyan proctor 
And this is very exciting for the crew to be uh, exiting the capsule and finishing their Inspiration4 mission, a mission that's done so much uh, for folks around the world. Yes, absolutely inspiring all the way around. Just an incredible mission with an incredible crew. And here comes Dr. Cyan Proctor. <laughs> there she is, excited as ever. Dr. Cyan Proctor. Oh, I love it. Love it. <laughs> love it. Just strike on down. I know, no problem at all. <laughs> Looks like mission specialist Chris Sembroski is up next to egress the vehicle. <laughs> Looks like some dancing there. <laughs> Again, there is crew there to help them egress to make sure that they do not damage um, their suits or themselves on their way out. And that is Chris Sembroski again, the mission specialist. <laughs> again, with a smile all over his face, super excited, <laughs> ready to go. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Last but not least, we have Commander Jared Isaacman getting ready to egress the vehicle as well. The final fourth Inspiration4 crew member of the first all-civilian crew mission to orbit. And what a way to close it out. He was really the, um, uh, the, the person with the vision. <laughs> there he is. Commander Jared Isaacman of the Inspiration4 crew. So excited. <laughs> Handshakes and hugs all Amazing. around. Amazing. 